We, the jury, find the defendant, John C. Willing, not guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, not guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, not guilty. Three security guards overcome with emotion after a jury finds them, as you heard, not guilty of manslaughter for a death at Northland Mall. Tonight, John Sieberling, Gavin King, and Aaron Marie are returning home free of criminal charges. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 5. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill tonight. Less than one hour ago, a jury found them not guilty in the death of 25-year-old Mackenzie Cochran. It took the jury less than three hours of deliberation to reach that verdict. Sean Lay live in Pontiac tonight, and we're talking about the case that goes back 10 years, Sean. And we literally just walked out of this courthouse and courtroom. This just went down a few minutes ago, guys. You saw the emotion there in the courtroom. Let me show you what happened, what spilled out immediately afterwards when these guys were dismissed. The emotion spilling out into the, from the courtroom into the hallway. Families embracing the three who were found not guilty and not long ago. The closing arguments, again, not long ago. This is just a couple of hours ago for closing arguments. They broke, it really broke this case down. When a man says several times, I can't breathe. Common sense says that these defendants should have repositioned him. They did nothing. Closing arguments late today in the trial of the Northland Three. Three security guards, John Sieberling, Gavin King, and Aaron Marie, on trial for the involuntary manslaughter of 25-year-old Mackenzie Cochran 10 years ago inside Northland Mall. Security responding that day to a call that Cochran was allegedly saying he was going to kill someone, resulting in Cochran being pinned down and not surviving. The defense that one guard was told to go there and help the other guards. No one has stated that there was a chokehold, kicking, punching, it was holding. Um, there was no strangling of Mr. Cochran. Uh, no one tried to harm Mr. Cochran. Another defense that the guards were using self-defense and had to protect themselves and others at the mall that day asking the jury, what if the guards did nothing? It is absolutely reasonable at that point to assume the worst. Back here live. So that all just happened. Closing arguments and then a quick verdict here. A week ago, Friday, Lucius Hamilton, one of the guards, 60 years old, he pled guilty in the same courtroom after the judge indicated she may favor a 90 day jail sentence. So one pleads guilty a week ago. The jury asked just one question. They came in, wanted to see the video again. Then they went back out and had that verdict just like that. Three guards guys came out here and uh, I asked each and every one if they wanted to speak. They declined. I'm reaching out to Cochran's family as well. We'll see you with more at six. All right, thank you, Sean. By the way, we did just get a statement from Attorney General Dana Nessel on today's verdict. It reads, quote, while today's verdict is not what we had hoped for, I am grateful for the dedicated work of the prosecutors and investigators in my office who worked tirelessly in pursuit of long-awaited answers on behalf of Mr. Cochran's family.